Hey, welcome back to Base Squared on this channel we for educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can, if you are blended and you have students in class as well as online and you're using the iPad, how you can annotate on the iPad and share the screen on the projector with your students in class and those online as well. So bear with me, I'm gonna show you. Stick around to the end, I'll show you how this is done. What you need to do is you need to use a cable that use an, use an original cable that came with your iPad to connect to your device. Now this is an iPad 20, 2020 and a MacBook 2020 and they both use USB-C. So I'm just gonna connect this up first. I'll show you what happens. And then find Quick Player. Now you can just press com um, Command and Space and type in Quick Player. Yeah, so go ahead and type in Quick Player. Open up Quick Player and my quick play is already open and because I've got the cable, it's tethered. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So here you can see, if I click on a file for quick, um, quick time player, I've got new movie recording, new audio recording, new screen recording. Um, I'm gonna go with new movie recordings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So that's gonna open up um, this little toggle button here. You may not have anything connected at the moment, but if you click on the little drop down menu, so if you click on this little drop down menu, you can see a whole um, sort of, I'm at school, so we've got Apple TVs, so they're connected. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ch select my device, which is my iPad Pro 12.9. I'm gonna go click, click on it, and then it's gonna bring up the screen. Now we're not gonna record the iPad screen, although you could record it if you really wanted to, but anything that I do on my iPad now is gonna be translated to this screen because we're basically doing a screen mirror. And the lag is really quite minimal. As I'm scrolling here, yeah, look, it's, it's brilliant. And so if I'm annotating, I'll show you. The whole point I'm doing this is because I wanna annotate problems so students can see what I'm doing. So have a look, if I just write down D, is for root h blah blah so i'm just writing something there you can see that it's appearing there as well now here's the next step okay so just go to control center and screen mirroring and obviously select the screen that you want to the projector that you want to connect to in this case sf8 let it connect okay uh, instead of doing um, mirror built-in retina display you want to use it as a separate display and then we're going to drag we're going to drag and drop quick time onto the second display which is going to be the projector so I'm literally just gonna go ahead and drag this and put it onto the other display. So let me go ahead and show you. I've just dragged it. It's now there. I've uh, dragged, dragged the QuickTime player onto the extended display. Now on here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Chrome. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome and I'm gonna go ahead and start a meeting. Just start a new meeting. Hello. I don't really need my camera, or I can leave the camera on or whatever. Let's just turn it off for now. Uh, and what I want to do, what I want to focus on is the present now. So let me just zoom into that. I want to focus on present now. So I'm going to go to present now. And let's go ahead and do an entire screen. So look at this. Look at what I'm presenting. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in your entire screen. So I'm going to present an entire screen. When I do that, it asks me, well, what screen do I want to present? the one of my computer screen or the one that was extended using the projector. I'm gonna go ahead and select the extended one using the projector. So let's go ahead and select that one and share. So these students sitting in class, they can see my projector, they can see my projected image, which is what I'm sharing on my iPad. And the students at home can also see my projected image, which is what I'm sharing on my iPad. So if I write something here now, so I wanna, I wanna rearrange this, okay? So anyway, so as you can see, I've scribbled over here, uh, I've also scribbled on Google Meet. They can see that at home. And I've also scribbled on um, the whiteboard. This is a solution that I found works incredibly well. Now, granted, this is a 2020 and a, and a 2020 MacBook and an iPad. If you're using an older system, you may have a bit of lag. Okay, so give that a go. If it works, brilliant. Uh, if you've found alternative methods, comment in the section below. I'm sure you're gonna help the community to figure this out together. Uh, and as always, Consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one.